Hey everybody, Function X here. Welcome back to Cryptopolis. Uh, I realized I jumped the gun a little bit saying that I was going to go all the way into the AI learning this episode. We'll probably get there towards the end, but I wanted to show a few more things with uh, Thermal before we just skipped past it. First thing is creating the, the main block for Thermal, the machine frame. Uh, this is what it looks like in our compacting area. And we need to throw at it a tin gear. Again, the uh, actual crafting of it display is broken but it is working and this is gonna end us uh, give us nine of these so that should be all we ever need I don't think we'll have to do that ever again um, we have an extra one of these I don't know okay so with the machine frame I can craft a few different machines I've got all the parts recipe or ready so we have them um, so we can take the machine frame off let's go ahead and just get a furnace so I don't have to use the create uh, fire anymore we can just put stuff in here uh, let's also get an induction smelter that'll, that'll pretty, pretty much eliminate the arc furnace uh, from us having to do that anymore because it'll smelt most things uh, we get a pulverizer so we don't have to use the immersive engineering grinder anymore and then the last one we'll get the centrifugal separator I haven't quite seen what we're using that for but there we go chapter completed chapter 3-2 serious business is done all right, so we ended up with five extra machine frames. We'll see if we ever need those. Um, the daily quest rewards. What are those things called? Daily rewards. Uh, well, I can't remember the full thing to type here. There we go, claim. Um, back somewhere in here, we got a few of these uh, thermal theory series components. Um, and they were, we got the gold ones. Uh, I think we had six. I put four of them. Where did I put four of them? I don't remember where I put them. Oh, I know what I, I where I put them. <laughs> Let's go around here. Yeah, we already had lava coming down this pipe here. Uh, so I went over here and I made four magmatic dynamos. And I upgraded all of these with uh, the, whatever, reinforced integral component. So this scales it up and now it's making, I think when it's not full, it makes 120 RF. So that right there is 480 RF a tick. That should be enough to run these machines, and if we need more, we'll steal it from over there since we don't need to run those machines really anymore. Um, okay, so of these four machines, what do we need to do to automate our ore processing? Uh, let's just take uh, like a gold shard and just kind of follow it through its path in a thermal environment. So the first thing we need to do is pulverize it, uh, and that is going to give us flint as a byproduct. We might want to do the... Um, uh, or no, do we need to use flint? Oh yeah, I, rem I forgot about this. Thermal added this thing where you had to have some kind of thing to grind with it. Okay, so we're gonna need a, a bunch of flint to do this. Um, but that's gonna pr create our gold dust. Okay, and then with the gold dust, we need to induction smelt it. And that just gives us gold. Okay, so what is the centrifugal thing gonna be used for? Is that to get our flint, or is that some other purpose here? Um, I'm not getting crushed. It said this was a required <laughs> like thing, right? So what is it? What what are we? Yeah, I don't see any thing in here that's going to be required. The only thing I can think is to get flint somehow, but. I'm not even seeing a recipe to get that. Oh, that's to take the rainbow shards into other shards without going through the enchanter. I gotcha. Okay, cool. So that doesn't have any other process, but these diamond shards, we, yeah, we just need to autocraft them. Okay. So that one's kind of all by itself. We'll just put that one here. And I'm just going to put a cabinet on top and on the bottom. So we'll put our input up here and our output down here can I do auto inputs auto input blue orange okay so let's just go get some rainbows and make sure that works rainbows over here I need to get some upgrades on those so they don't stop at 2k but that's that's okay so if I do a bunch of these It's super slow, so this is probably one we want to put one of these upgrades on. 
that's a little bit faster. Yep. I think I definitely want to use the resonant one if I get one of those, but you can see that's a pretty crazy recipe for right now. And that gave us nothing. <laughs> um, what's the percent chance? 30, 30, 30. So we just hit the 10% chance where you get nothing from it. Did we do it again? Okay, there we go. We got a few things. Awesome. So that will just run. It will just keep it stocked to supply a rainbow, and we're good there. Okay. Uh, then the furnace is also just something that doesn't really need to be connected in any automation. Just if I need to melt anything, I can put it up here, and it'll come out there. So same thing. Blue and orange. Okay. Uh, and then these two systems, we will take a pulverizer first. And then I guess we could put the induction smelter next to it. It's, we're kind of, we need like one more space. Because <laughs> if I do it here, it's not going to be symmetrical. Huh. I could do it here. All right. So this is going to have an input of our different ores, all right, and they're going to be auto input here. Uh, we're going to have to put our flint in there as well. And then the output is going to go here, and we'll have an item pipe there. This will input on the left, and then output on the bottom. Sure. Okay, let's get an item pipe. I might change this around, but we'll see. It'll at least work for now. Uh, the item pipe should be in here. They uh, either thermal no longer has pipes, or they've been disabled in this pack. <laughs> I just I just can't find them. I like I'm like I swear thermal had its own pipes, but don't see them in here. All right, which one do we probably want to give this upgrade to? Probably the pulverizer. And I might steal some out of the mag the dynamos, but let's go ahead and get. I don't really care about uranium right now. Let's get some of all of these. So those will go in here, then flint. Where's our primary source of flint coming from? Grinding gravel, milling gravel, uh, or crushing gravel has an app, just an extra thing. Induction smelting gravel? Okay or pulverizing gravel. But you have to like have gravel, so that seems like a waste. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's definitely one of these recipes. Okay, cool. I think each little, oh wait, that was just, is that just increasing the speed or the production? Or is it like, oh, I can't remember the recipe. can't remember what this does down here. Is it like extra output or... Because I don't really care about extra output, right? I have unlimited shards. I guess it's power can be the limiting factor. Uh, power is holding up running both of these machines at the same time. This is going to create a, get a backlog going here. Uh, and then the problem is if I'm, I run silver at the same time, I'm going to get electrum, I think, right? Because both of these take gold. And if I put silver, it'll be doing that. So I think I can say... Huh. So I might have to process separately, right? So I guess we'll do the osmium next. And that won't matter. Okay, so that's only using 20, that's using 60, that's 80, and that's using, that's 140. So we could upgrade these quite a bit. Um, and for that, um, we need the augments. Um, and I think it's this one, the flux linkage amplifier. How are those? So that's redstone gold, that's electrum, that's lead. We should have all that. I think I even have, no, that's nickel plates. So I actually want to make some Electrum, um, but we can go do that. 
For the plates, we need some lead. Iron, oh no, uh, not gold, sorry. Gold and redstone. So, electrum here. Oh, come on. Ah, why do I keep thinking these are, are happy plates that will just go in there? Gotta use this system. Are you making plates or gears? You're making plates. Okay. I put this thing just to hold them. I probably should get a conveyor that automatically drops, but... Since I'm not mass producing right now, it doesn't seem worth it. Okay, so let's make a few of these lead gears. So I can just put like eight here. No, 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 not plates, not plates, not plates. Go, oh, oops. <laughs> gears. Uh, better make a even number of them, right? Uh, we're actually going to need two more sets. All right. So we'll be able to make two of these, and as soon as I get more Electrum, I can uh, make more. We can put this in like here, and maybe in here. Because like this one, I can just go in the alchemy thing, right? Like, <laughs> this is automating it, but I don't need this to go fast. Um, so I'll put that one in there. Okay, so each of you get an augment and a speed up. That'll work. Okay. It's making osmium. Oh, and now it's confused. It's like, I don't know what to make. Okay, so... Oh, that's kind of a bummer. How do you tell it not to... There must be an upgrade here, an augment maybe. An item filter, that might be it. Uh, increases non-primary output, no catalyst. And back in the input, destroys excess non pry item. No, don't want that. Okay, so instead that, oops, I think I have these. Let's put that there, and then we can just turn off auto input and leave these in here. Yeah, I'll have to figure that out. I can't remember how to say only allow one thing in here or like lock the recipe is kind of what I want. There's got to be a way. No, nope, that's just security. All right. Well, if you guys know, put in the comments. Otherwise, I'll just be doing research on how to get this. But yeah, this is much faster than the Arc Furnace and we're using much less power. The Arc Unis Furnace uses tons of power and it uses those stupid rods. Um, I guess we want automatic output to put down here, yeah, okay. Alrighty. Are you making... Why are you not outputting? Oh, that's right, okay, cool. And actually, I could take some silver and mix it with this gold and get some electrum. Let's do that. Okay, cool. Um, that's all of that. I 
Okay, all cleaned up and ready to do the next thing. Okay, so this one we can collect our rewards and we're gonna move on to AI learning. So this first one here, the deep learner. Um, I've already crafted the vacuum tubes and I hope we have enough blocks of netherite to get this. It was not cheap, I have 47 right now. Oh, actually I can just, uh, if you want a trick, you can just hit K on there, okay. So we do need a little bit more, but I have some gold and I have netherite being produced over here, hopefully. Yeah, that thing's no good. <laughs> uh, much easier to just do this. Yeah, much better. Okay. So I need to make just one more block. That's going to make two, but we can turn one back to netherite, and we're good to go. Um, what are you doing? Why do I have extra you? I don't care. I'll deal with you later. So we can get rid of all of these. And let's get our vacuum tubes, our glass pane, and redstone. Vacuum tubes should be in here. Glass pane maybe here. Yep, cool. So this is our deep learner. Now if we have this on it, uh, or I guess we can, this is how we configure data models and stuff. Okay. Our models we train, we place in the deep learner. In order to train the model, you must deliver the killing blow. Okay. Need to eat something real quick. Let's get some uh, models then. So we want the model framework. And yeah, this is just a crazy amount of crap, right? <laughs> so emerald, diamond, gold, and uranium. Let's start with that. Emerald, diamond, gold, uranium. Okay. Then it's going to need, and we're going to make a couple of these actually. So let's, let's just set up to make like four right now. If we have everything for that. Okay. Um, so then we need eight silver plates and four null blocks. Okay. That's not a null block. Is this a null block? That's null shard block. What's a null block? Uh, null ingots. What's a null ingot? Arc furnace, null ore. What? <laughs> um, am I missing something? No block. Can only be made from null ingots. Null ingots can only be made from null ore. And null ore has no recipe. Well, that's... <laughs> um... Okay, so in another version of this, I thought it had an NEI thing that told you how to get this. I think you take stone or cobble, try both, and click on it with one of these. No, what about with null powder? There we go. <laughs> so it's stone, okay. So let's get a bunch of stone. Don't need your cobble. Okay. Does that mean I need silk touch? What's gonna happen if I break this? We'll try with one first. Yeah, um, 
I remember not knowing how to make this, and then I looked it up in a new version of the pack and saw it had a recipe, and it was, um, click on it like this, but then it's gone away for some reason. All right, so now I get no more, yes, okay. So you don't need to silk touch, you will just get it, and these go in the arc furnace. I wish they had an induction recipe, but I guess we are gonna have to use some arc furnace. All right, and this says distribute, and if you have enough power, it's much better to do it this way. Obviously, I do not have enough power, um, but it's better to distribute it over as many things. Looks like I can produce eight at once with the power that I'm bringing in, so that's not bad. Actually, maybe nine at once, I don't know. Okay, so I just need, I need four of these, so I'm gonna need, four times nine is 36. All right, anything else we need to grab? Uh, four vacuum tubes and four osmium. I think I'll just let this finish real quick. It won't take long. And 36. Okay, I'll be back for the rest. So vacuum tubes, osmium. Which one is osmium? Why can I not? Oh, there it is. Oh, I have a ton. Okay. Alrighty. So, um, do that, and then we should be able to make these. There we go. Alright, there's four of our models. Uh, I'm going to store them in here, because I don't want them to accidentally like do the wrong thing. Uh, but now I think we can just load this in here. No. Right click on an entity. All right, so we need to right click on an entity first to lock it, and then we'll put it in here. Okay. I can get rid of these coins. Um, so that's that guy. Now, all the rest is going to be after I get all the entities, but we might as well just get them crafted here. So the simulation chamber is going to be the next one that we need. I'm just going to go with one each for now, and we'll do it later. But I've got the block. Two osmium, two uranium, and a frame. Uh, two uranium, two osmium, and I've already made this little guy, which is just that stuff. Oops. Okay, and then one of these, the loot fabricator, I need two electrum, two gold. Alrighty. And then we need a bunch of these. Oops, I just got rid of them. Prediction. So you put these in here, and based on your model, it will turn them into the other types of predictions, and then you can use those to generate the, lo the loot from them up. So gold, lapis, iron, and some frames. Let's just go four of each. Oh, no, we want one F. Okay, we'll just do one. Uh, lapis. So, yeah, we will need to make a bunch of these. But that is all that. Okay, so if we check out quests, we have done pretty much everything other than actually go get our four mobs. Um, so let's just start with the lava monster. It's the easiest. So we'll go ahead and head down here. I guess it's not the easiest because we can summon the blaze and the enderman, but hey, a little victim. Did I just call you a victim? Let's let him run towards us. We're going to click on him. All right, now that's the data model. And then in here, we'll put that in there. And now we just need to kill him. And if we look, we've got one kill. And we need six kills total to get to like level one. So it won't even work at all until it's level one. So you must at minimum kill a few. I've got a bunch of guys here. We'll just aggro them. Look at that jump I can do. Oh, hit <laughs> the lava. Oh no. Hey, hey, I'm, I'm supposed to be immune. I'm supposed to be immune to fire damage. What's going on? Uh, every once in a while those things don't work. <laughs> and this uh, steel sword mostly one-shots these now, so this should be quick. 
Um, I have looked into getting a lava strider as a pet. You can actually put a saddle on those and then ride them around the lava and you don't take any damage and you move at full speed. Uh, maybe we can do that. Let's, I don't know. I just want to get this thing done real quick. Okay. Oh, you are way too close to a pigman. I'm not bringing the pigman army against me. Oh, are you mad? No, okay. I did not touch you. I did not touch you. You are a liar. Liar. Pants on fire. Okay, how many are mad at me? Not too many. Let's just kill them. I may anger, anger, anger all of them if I do this, but... Looks like there weren't many out. Okay, let's look at our data model here now. It is basic. We need to kill 40 more. Uh, oh no, we get four data per, so we need 12 more. It's not too bad. Um, but let's go get everything. Oh, and it even tells us in the top uh, top left, 10 remaining. Can I go up this water, please? I could have teleported, but... Okay, so we've got a data model. Let's go get our Blaze and Enderman. Now... With those, we're probably going to need to summon quite a few. Um, how many souls do we have? Now, where, would, where would those be? In here? We have 29. That's quite a few. Ooh, I got an ability. Haste. Let's try that. Let's unlock that. So I got... That just give me speed? Oh, no. Haste is mining haste. Oh, cool. I like that. Brilliant. Um, I got a ton of these crystals now. I don't know what to do with them. <laughs> I'm going to be producing so many of them. Um, and I guess, I mean, do I need them anymore? What's their purpose? What is your purpose, oh mighty crystals? I mean, I know what this stuff is used in, in here, but I, I'm automating that now, right? Oh, there it is. Look, null dust on stone makes null ore. There it is. You just have to know to hit on null dust, which I thought I did. Um, but we are going to need this for the ultimate dust of dusts. Okay, for endgame. All right. That's fine. Um, whatever. I'll just leave it in my inventory for now. Uh, so we've got a bunch of those. Um, let's look at the recipe for Blaze because I forgot it. It's like coal and something. Coal and gunpowder. And let's say we want to kill maybe eight of them. So 16 gunpowder, 32 coal. I don't have any of that. I don't have coal. I don't have gunpowder either. Wow, okay. I might have some over here. Not a lot. Oh, there's gunpowder. Okay. Got plenty of gunpowder. Uh, and, and someone did point out I could just bring the altar over to me and not have to go over the tower, but it just makes sense to, like, fight him over there. Okay, so I only needed 16 of this. I need 32 coal. And I have 18. Where it's... How are we getting coal in here? Oh, coal shards. I've got those. They're right up here. I've got billions of them. <laughs> That's the laziest area. Every time I go over there, I'm just like, ah! Where did you go? Wait, I grabbed coal shards, right? Oh, there they are. It's like, I know I grabbed them. Alright, just need to get up to 32 here. One more. Okay. Uh, now the Enderman recipe is black dye and clay and i want to probably kill eight of those so 24 each do i have clay in here no but i know where to find it it's in here so there's 24 and black dye what's the best way to make that right now alchemy from other dyes or oh i could just scorch pebbles in there 
Sure, let's do it that way, because I got... Oh, I had a bunch of short pebbles. I turned them back into scorched stone. Well, I can get them this way. There's a bunch of pebbles. We'll do them in this machine, because the other machine is occupied right now. Whoa, that was quick. <laughs> That's more than I need. Okay. Uh, so let's go over to tower two or tower one. Oh, and I probably don't have the right block for this, but it'll work for the blaze. Uh, so I'm gonna need a data model. And I guess I can take this one out. Or I guess you could put multiple data models in here, right? Yeah, it'll hold four. Okay. Um, so let's clear some stuff off the bar. And we'll have souls and coal and clay. And you can put all of this on. It will not be a problem. It'll just spawn one, one at a time. Maybe not. It'll only work if you have one of these. No? Oh, it's not clay. Ah, that's my problem. It's gunpowder. There we go. I was going to say, I was like, I thought I would just do one. There you go. Okay, so we need to data model this first, and then kill it. Oh, where is my data model? There it is. No, don't, don't run away. Okay. Lighting everything on fire. What are you doing? Okay, so now it's just getting it and killing him. I should probably put a roof on this. Or just some way to lock them in real quick. So, data model. There we go. So I need four remaining. We'll do a few more of these than we need to. Because every time you run the prediction, if it fails, it'll make your prediction better. And so this thing will level itself up on its own. As long as you get it to level one first. So, I think we had to kill the four. Or maybe it's five. I have diamonds now. I probably should have enchanted this thing with, like, <laughs> you know, get, like, some unbreaking and some damage, but oh well. Alright, so this is a basic model now. Cool. And that's all of them. Okay. So if we kill 11 more, it would go up. Uh, let's get our next model framework out here. And with that... Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, I've got extra. Oh, no. It still wants, still wants to give me more. Okay, fine. I've lost track of how many I've killed. Now, is that all of them? Okay, that's all of them. Um, so, black dye and clay. And what do I need under it? That's the question. Uh, block of coal. Oh, bummer. Okay. I'll be right back. Block of coal should be in here. Cool. Whoa! <laughs> I almost walked off the edge. Alright, and Enderman. Oh, I need to uh, get some blocks here. He's gonna hate me. Do I have any blocks? I have a few. I mean, I could do like that, I guess. That's a, a few blocks. Whatever. All right, so you go in there now, and now we need six of those. Okay, seems like a few more than normal. <laughs> He's too smart. 
<laughs> He's going around in circles. He's like, I know where you're hiding. Where's my food? No, not an ender pearl. Why am I putting ender pearl there? Nope, 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 you nope, nope, nope. <laughs> All right, I have blocks here. Like, what am I doing? Like, just make it so we can't get you. There we go. All right, now I'm safe. What you gonna do, Enderman? You can't get me. All right, three more. I guess I could summon multiple at a time, right? <laughs> Look at you all at the same time. Don't teleport away, though. Where'd your friend go? Come here, dude. Hey, I'm looking at you. Ah. <laughs> All right, we got six pearls out of that. that was pretty good luck. Uh, but we got a basic model. I guess we should just keep using everything up here. Is that using multiple... Uh... Huh. I think it used multiple soul shards. Oh, no. It's... Uh, it we're finished. Okay. That's fine. That's what happened. Okay. So we got three basic models. The only other one we need is a skeleton. And I just, like, I haven't seen skeletons spawn, like, ever. Oh, they're in the stupid towers. Duh. Oh, duh. Okay. So we need to get to another tower. Why is, oh, hello. You're not mad at me, right, Pigman? Okay. So we need to find another tower. That's where the skeletons are. I think there's a tower right up there. We have our fungus food. Okay, let's check our map. So closest tower maybe is that one? Out this way? Yeah, okay. So if I eat this food, and then I sprint. Oh, apparently I don't have that item anymore. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get a strider. No, we're not gonna get a strider, it takes too long. Um, we're gonna go get that item that lets me run on water. I don't know why I took it off. Not over here, it's over here. Probably had another thing I wanted to put on my feet better. So that's gonna be in here somewhere. These ones. Right. Um, so it's these, yeah, this was just sprint speed. All right. So now we don't run as fast. But we should be able to run on lava. For how long? 38 seconds. We're good. Why is there an enderman down there? How did he get there? Alright, now as long as we don't take damage, we should be able to sprint all the way over here. Yeah, you need a uh, saddle and something on a stick, basically, for that. Alright, so data model for a skeleton will be this one. I'm gonna eat just a few more, another set of this, just in case I get knocked into the lava. Oh, of course I went all the way the wrong, wrong way direction. Put that in here, okay. I think I'm just gonna get rid of these. I could use the next level up. And now I have like a home base if I need to eat and heal and that kind of stuff. This should already actually be... Nope, it's still faulting. You kill, kill one more. Do we need any really any of this? No. I can get coins here. That's free food, right? <laughs> Might as well take it. Come 
Come on. More of ya. Let's just take them all on. Oh, there's a pigment up here. Oh, there's a lot of bad guys in here. They're all fighting each other. Now's my opportunity. Run! Ha <laughs> ha You can't go through a trapdoor. I just wanted to see what was up here. Cool. Take it. Alright, is this close? Five more to get the next level? I don't think I'm going to be doing prediction on Skeleton anyway. It was just for the quest anyway. So, we're not going to worry about that. Let's just teleport home. Okay. Sweet. Let's go see what kind of food is available. Anything really good? Cheeseburger's okay. Oh, that is really nice. <laughs> you can only get four though, or that's the only the only sea bucks I have. Let's get some more. Nice. Okay. And I do have some rhubarb pie if I run out of this, but Ooh, shepherd's pie, you are good. Um so I can probably throw oh I got another a jump boost. I think I already have jump boost. Can you combine it? Level one out of five. Oh now I've got jump boost two. Holy crap, I can jump so high now. That's cool. Um and we'll go ahead and switch our boots back to our sprint boots. And I got inventory problems. What's this? A bag of seeds. We got a bunch of seeds. Okay. We can just put them with our food. I have no intention of doing any of that. Uh, what could I put away? Oh, I do have an empty chest there. Bowls are going in there. That's where I got the soul soil from. It was one of those stupid chests. I remember like the beginning of the map. I'm like, this is not soul sand. What is this? It was from that thing. Okay. Um, and then I've just got some random junk from those and a bow. And I don't care about the rest. Oh, some dye. Alrighty, so now we need to set up the simulation chamber and the loot chamber with all our predictions. Do we get all those? Yes, okay. Um, and I need some power, and I don't really have a place for it. Um, what if... I'm going to take this one out. And I'll put you up here. And you are now going to export out the top. Then I can put my simulation chamber here. Loop fabricator there. Okay. I need some power. And I'm not using these. What have I been using? Oh yeah, basic cable. So I went in a mechanism for this. Much much better than the basic cable. It does 256, where this does 5K. And it's so much easier to make. So much better. Get those powered up. Alrighty. Please insert a data model. Alright. Sounds good. Let's make our lava monster. And then cannot begin simulation missing prediction matrix. That's not prediction matrix. That is. And so it's it has only a 12% chance. We need to run maybe like 10 of these here to kind of guarantee that we get something, but I'm not sure how much power. It's using 160. Okay. We got a. Hey, we got an. We got one. That's cool. Or is this not what we were looking for? I thought the quests. Oh nope, that's just a general. Okay. All right, but it did increase to twelve four four. Failed. Oh bummer. So we'll probably get another one of these. Okay, it's up to 13. <laughs> uh, let's go make a bunch more of these while we are waiting. So those percentages, we're going to need them. 
So I should have more glass in here. Oops. Ow. Oh. Wasted. Let's make a few stacks of glass. And we need gold and iron. Predict, please. There we go. Oh, and lapis. I didn't get enough lapis. Oh, no. Holy moly, that was a lot. Okay, I did not mean to make that many. Oh, okay. I guess eventually we're going to need this many. Um, can you auto input? Probably not. All right, I'm going to have to find a better place for this. I guess we got space over on that wall. I just don't have power. Like, the power is all right here. But basic cable is so easy to make. It's just steel, right? For eight of them. Two steel for eight. All right, it's up to, okay, we got a lava monster prediction. Beautiful. All right, so now we can switch you out of there and do the blaze. Not in you, in here. This one's even lower. It's only 7%. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. So we need to do... Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, apparently, this accepts any prediction. Interesting. Okay. So there's something broken with those quests. Um but now we just need to get one of each of those, which we already have. So bone, blaze rod, and a pearl. Oh, 10 of them, okay, fine. 10 bones. Uh, but yeah, anyway, in this one, we can say, I wanna put this in here and I'd like to generate these, please. 64 from one? I have so many. I don't need that many. Okay. Well, I never need one of those again. That's kind of dumb. It should be one to one to actually make you have to do this. But I guess it's not a FTB pack. <laughs> I thought I was gonna have to just process like have one like a you know a dedicated one for that other model. So you see it is collecting some data every time it fails. Yeah, okay, I think it's a little bit better. So if we do 33 more, it will be at the next level. <laughs> and I don't know what that percentage goes up to. How many uh, are we gonna get from a blaze? 10, okay, wow. So we get both of these done really quick. Uh, and then we're just gonna have to do the challenge. Um, which probably can go start doing while we're waiting. Find out which ones we're missing. So osmium, gold, uh, was steel one of them? I don't remember if steel's one of them. Netherite is definitely one, and that's going to take a while. Invar? No. What's the other one that it needs? Oh, uranium. We're out of that, too. Okay. So, technically, I don't think we can do any of these. Yeah, they all want 64. Okay. Well, I will get all of that ready in between episodes. So that we can just come back and do that real fast. And that's going to give us flight, right? Yeah. So we're going to have flight. And I think it's going to give us enough levels to enable flight. Okay. Uh, how are you doing? Did you get me one? Nope. Your steel failure. What can I get with generalized this? Does this not work in anything? Oh, I can just turn stuff into stuff. 
Wow, with glowstone and iron, I can get gold. That's kind of cool. Get soul sand. Cast your blaze rods. Cool. So technically, I just turn all my bones into blaze rods, and I don't really, really need a blaze prediction to work. Right? Ha! She's the system. <laughs> Beautiful. Let's put that in here with all these. Okay, so yeah, there's really no purpose in running these anymore because I don't need to, right? So let's just stop. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I don't need any of that. Let's look at next time. Um, so we have a choice. We can go into magic, and this is going to get to a magic mod called Nature's Aura, which I have never done before. Um, it looks kind of like Botania-ish. There's a lot of little like plants and, or things you throw in a pedestal, and I have no idea. Maybe I have done this mod. It's just been so long. Um, but at the end, it's going to give us stuff to get a, uh, a Planergistic system set up, which is, I think, little too little too late. Like, what's the point, right? Um, and then the other option we have is Mechanism. And I think we can just go right into that, right? Yeah, we need a ton of steel, though. Holy moly. I'm going to have to get more steel processing going if I want to do that. Um, wow, Okay. But those give us a bunch of steel casings, and we're going to get all our mechanism things set up. Oh, and that's also going to be given us part of what we need to go in AE. Okay. But it looks like we don't have to go too... F no, we have to get an ultimate. All right. Yep, we have to get an ultimate. Um, so then once we've done both of those quest lines, we can get to AE, which is not too bad. And then we'll get into power. Now, power I could actually start right now. And I think I might... Is there anything limiting me from getting into power? No, I have, oh, it's even lava, but I have blaze rods, so I could get this recipe really easy without even worrying about lava buckets, but I have infinite lava too, so, okay, so that's not a problem. That's iron. I'm just waiting for like a, a recipe change that's like, no, you can't do this. That's iron. Nope, that's just glass. Redstone. And this is gold, yep, which we've got now. Oops, I don't need to pin that. Um, and then this one is blaze rods, which we have now, or blaze powder. Um, this one is diamonds, which we have, emeralds, and nitro is nether stars. Okay, I'm not sure how we're going to get nether stars. I guess we've got to fight the wither. Oh, maybe we can get a uh, prediction of the wither and then just put him in there. I don't know. Is there a recipe for these? Oh, you just you just make one. If we get a generalized ender prediction, which we're going to get from our enderman model, wither skeleton skulls we can get from a wither skeleton prediction. And I think we can summon a wither skeleton, right? We can even make one with mechanism. Antimatter? Maybe not. <laughs> polonium? Oh no, I don't want to get into polonium. That was a pain in the butt. Okay, there was a way to get wither skeletons, right? Uh, yep, there's a wither data model. Um, Okay, yeah, bones, obsidians. Oh, right here. Oh, so we get skeletons in the room. So if we take those skeleton spawners, <laughs> and I guess we're going to have to trap a bunch somehow, um, or we're just going to be on the other side of the room. Yes. And then we put the altar. Actually, we might just be able to use, go to the... Since we can fly, we'll land on one. It will use the skeletons on the row beneath us. It will summon these. Okay, so I need to make another prediction. I think we're going to get right into this and go right into power and just try and get uh, endgame power first because I don't see anything in here 
um, that is going to take um, something beyond what we have, right? Uraninite, maybe that is going to be our limiting factor. Okay. Oh, nope, it's just uranium. And we have that too. Cool. Awesome. Uh, and we'll get magmatics from those, which just produce a crazy amount of lava or power. Yep, we are going to go right into power next time, guys. That is the plan. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. I will see you next time. Bye.